Nancy, what color do you want the call to action to be? Red. What shade of red? Pink, orange, violet, any kind of red? Your favorite red. What shape do you want a call to action button to be? Triangular, square, or round? Anything. Do you feel like you're not challenged in your current job? Some of you guys are considering transitioning into product management, but you're not sure if this is the right career path for you. On top of that, is it too late to make a transition? In this video, I'm going to show you the A step to help you decide whether product management is the right career path for you. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product from drnancylee.com. I help people transition from worker bee to product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become product manager, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. If you like any of the content I share with you today, please make sure to hit the like button because it's the only way that YouTube algorithm recognizes me. Product management is the most satisfying job I ever had for myself and also have helped over hundreds of product managers transition into this new career path. Today, let's also decide whether product management is also suitable for you. Step number one, you love being a leader. Product managers are the CEO of product. You are called to lead. Usually in a big organization, product managers are perceived as the leader of the entire team. Sometimes product manager can really lead a very big team up to 30 or 100 people to launch a product from concept to execution. During this process, nobody may directly report to you as a product manager. However, you're going to influence without authority to work with a very cross-functional team. And everybody look up to you to lead the whole team to execute on the product vision. On top of that, product manager also need to master lots of people relationship because as a leader, you need to make sure the entire team are aligned to follow the entire strategy to execute on the product strategy. That's why product managers are people leader and also knows how to manage conflict and manage stakeholders expectations within the team. I made a separate video talking about the eight skills product managers need to have. Leadership is one of the most important factors you need to master. Number two, you love customer facing role. If you're like me, really enjoy customer facing, understand their pain point, and fall in love with customers, this is the right career for you. Cause all of me loves all of you. Frequently during the day-to-day -day work, customers are the ones who are at the front end talking to customers, understand the pain point, doing customer interviews and then you translate their needs into the engineering facing requirement for your team to deliver the product for you. If you love working with people, this is the right career for you. Number three, you want good work-life balance and still get paid top dollars. As a hiring manager, I know hundreds of people's salary because I also help people to negotiate their salary. For fact, I know that product managers hourly rate are the highest because we don't work like 80 or 100 hours like investment banker or consultant, but we work a reasonable amount of time to get paid very well. And product manager frequently has a good balance in terms of being able to focus on their career, but still have some free time to do anything we like. If you want to know how much product managers get paid, you should check out this video where I break down different examples in different companies and how big are the differences working for startups and fan companies. And the range can go from like a few hundred thousand dollars to half a million dollars. I'm going to link this video as a description of this video. Besides the hourly rate, product managers are also getting a lot of stock options. Let's say you join a pre-IPO startup. One day this startup go IPO, your stock options is going to go through the roof, getting paid million dollars. This actually happened to several of my friends who joined Coinbase earlier this year. Therefore, product management earning potential has really big upside potential. Number four, you want to be the decision maker. As a product manager and a people leader, people are looking for you to make decisions for them. For example, the team might ask you how to decide the color of the website and also all the way to what the compensation structure of the sales team. Nancy, what color do you want the call to action to be? Red. What shade of red? Pink, orange, violet, any kind of red? Your favorite red. Product managers make decisions every day. So if you enjoy making decisions for yourself and for other people, that's the right career path for you. If you feel like this is so stressful to make decisions every day, you should reconsider if this is the right career path for you. Of course, as a product manager, we need to learn how to use a data-driven methodology to make decisions and communicate and convince the decisions within the entire team. Any big responsibilities and authority really come in with some kind of risk because what if you make the wrong decision? 
So that's why in my upcoming video, I'm going to share with you how would you make the right decision to prioritize product roadmap, to prioritize product features. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and watch out for my upcoming videos. Now let me ask you this question. What challenges are you facing transitioning into product management? And comment down below and see if I can help you. Number five, you love to see a product from end to end. As a product manager, we're managing the entire product life cycle. Not like strategy consultant only make the strategy plan but never execute. We come up with a product strategy all the way to execution. Starting from interviewing customers, doing compound analysis, and working with engineers to build the product, and then work with sales marketing to bring the product to the hands of the customers. And finally, work with customer success team, make sure the customers really enjoy using our product and collect daily feedback. To me, that's the most satisfying process to see the product from end to end because it's actually preparing me to a better CEO of my own company. So this is an incubator job for the future entrepreneur. Number six, you love making an impact. I'm not sure this is true to you or not. Even before I became a product manager, I always felt like I want to contribute back to the society and help my communities and make a bigger impact. As a product manager, not only just I'm here to get paid, but I truly want to serve my customer into the next level. If you feel the same and want to impact the world, impact your communities, this is the right career path for you. Number seven, you know how to manage your time very well. As a product manager, this might be a surprise to you. Product manager has so many meetings every day. Sometimes for my friend, for example, Sherry joined Microsoft and she had eight hours or seven hours meetings in every day. Just because she's in a senior product manager position and who need to collaborate with cross-functional teams. So as a product manager, you need to learn how to do time management very well so that you're able to do collaborations and also get your job done as well. If you want to see more information regarding her experience working for Microsoft, feel free to check out this video right here. Number eight, you need to have a passion for technology. If this is you who love to figure out, wow, how can we use software solutions or combination of software and services to help the customers using the digital transformation and solutions to make their life much easier. This could also become an automation product or AI product or a marketplace. Whatever product you're uh, creating, you need to be passionate about the technology. However, most people had a misunderstanding. You thought you need to have a technical background to become a product manager, which is not true. Right now, only 10% of the companies in the market require your technical background. I made a video regarding whether you need technology and computer science background to become a product manager. You can check out the video right here where I break down different scenarios, what company need technical background, what companies doesn't. You definitely need to study this right now. If you said yes to all the A steps I just mentioned, my friend, the product management career is the right path for you. I wish you will also have very satisfying careers I have. And if you want to learn how exactly to transition into product management without prior experience, you check out this video right here. And then if you're also ready to interview for PM jobs, you can use the free template, which I have helped over thousands of people using this template to land their product management interview. Feel free to go to the link down below and download the free resume template. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that more people will discover this organic content. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Oh,